I'm super excited to share with you our newest tool, the Kakurasu Puzzle Tool. This is a great niche to be creating puzzle books for, and our tool even gives you the ability to create interactive PDFs for the Kindle Scribe. For those of you unfamiliar with Kukurusu, it's played on an empty grid. The goal is to figure out which cells need to be colored and which should be left blank. The numbers across the left and the top are the values for each cell. These are always the same for each puzzle. The first cell in the row or column is worth one, the second is worth two, the third, three, and so on. The numbers across the bottom and right are the totals for that row or column for the colored cells. In this example, for the column that says 15 at the bottom, you know that all the cells in the column are colored because one plus two plus three plus four plus five is 15. Our tool offers you the ability to create puzzles with four by four, five by five, six by six, seven by seven, eight by eight, and nine by nine sized grids. With one, two, four, six, or eight puzzles per page or answer page. You can customize the look of your puzzles by setting the title for your puzzles and the color for the titles, the lines, the value numbers, the total numbers, the grid lines, and the answer squares. Let's head over to Book Creator and I'll demonstrate how to use this new tool. To get to the Kakurasu tool, you can click on Activity Books, Kakurasu tool, or click on the icon. As with all of our tools, you want to start by setting your trim size. We have all of the KDP trim size available. You could also select your own custom trim size if you would like, or select Kindle Scribe, which we have recently added to the word search tool, is in this tool as well. After you select your trim size, you want to select your puzzle dimensions. Let's do six by six. And then select how many puzzles you want per page. I'm going to do four. And how many solutions you want per page. I'm going to do six. Next, you need to add your puzzles. Let's do 10 easier and 10 harder. And click on refresh. Now there's a whole bunch of settings that you can do to customize how your puzzle looks and how your answer page will look. And those start on the title and word settings. First of all, you can change the puzzle title. I have it here as Kakurasu, but you could change it to puzzle. You can change it to you know, basically anything you want it to say. You can put it here. And then you can select the font. So if you want a different font, how about we go with Meriwether? And you can select the font size. How about we make it a little bit bigger? You can also select where you want the top row of titles to go. So that's this top row up here. How about we move it down just a little bit? And you can set the space between your title and your puzzle. That's this number, space between puzzle and title. I might make that a little bit bigger as well. And let's do go ahead and do a refresh. And now this is what our puzzle page looks like. We can do the same thing on our answer page. We can set the space between the title and the puzzle. And that's right here, space between answer and title. You can also set where you want your top row to start. Well, let me move it down just a little bit. And let's do a refresh. And now you see it moved it down. It put more space here. So under puzzle settings, you can set the font for your numbers and you can set the font size separately for your puzzles and your answer pages. So if you have different numbers of puzzles on your puzzle page versus your answer pages, you can set that independently so it will look nice. But we go ahead and increase the font size for our puzzle pages just a little bit. And now they're a little bit bigger. You can also go under color and line settings and change the color of everything. So title color is of course the titles here. And let's just pick a random color. The grid lines is all the grid lines. Let's pick another random color. 
And the answer squares is this color here. So you can change that. So how about we make that a lighter gray, for example. And the cell value is these numbers. So you can set that to something. And the totals values are these numbers. Let's do a re refresh and I'll show you how that looks. This looks kind of crazy. This is just an example to show you how you can independently set all of these different colors. If you look at the puzzle page, you'll see what that looks like. Um, of course, you're going to want to get complementary colors, not these crazy colors. But this gives you a good example of how the color feature works in this tool. So another thing that you can change is the size of your grid lines. So right now it's on 0.04 for the puzzle and 0.2 for the answer page. You can make those bigger or smaller. So maybe we want to make it smaller. Now you see that the lines are smaller here and they're smaller here also. And this space between the lines and the squares is for the answer pages. And that's this gap here that you see. I mean, you can see a little bit better. You can set that to zero if you don't want any gap. And that will look like this. Or you could set it to a bigger number if you want a bigger gap. And then you have a much bigger gap. So you can play with that and get it to look exactly the way you want for your puzzle book. And the last thing that you can set here is the space between these numbers and your puzzle. Right now it's set to 0.02 for both the puzzle page and the answer page. So how about we go to the puzzle page and let's make this a little bit bigger. Let's pull this back out. Let's make the, let's say we want to make it 0.04. And now you have a bigger space between your numbers and where your puzzle starts. You can do the same thing for the answer pages. Make that 0.04. Now you have more space here as well. As with all of the other tools, you can add front and back render pages if you would like. And we've also added the ability to save and load your settings. So I have a couple of different ones here. I'm going to load my Kindle Scribe one, so I can just give you an example of that. The Kindle Scribe option gives you the interactive index and the back button. And for the puzzle, you have the link to the solution. So it's exactly the same functionality for the Kindle Scribe that we have in our word search tool. One of the new things that we've added is the ability to customize the text here. So let's say you want to index to say puzzle list instead of index. You can change it and now it says puzzle list. And with all of our tools, you just click on download and you'll get the final PDF. And here's what our PDF looks like. Since this is the Kindle Scribe one, you can click on puzzle list and go to the list down here. You'll see that this also says puzzle list now instead of index. You can also change the text for this right here. So if you're creating puzzles in different languages, you can customize this however you want so that it works for your language. And so all of our links here work, solution, back, puzzle list, just the way it does in our word search puzzle. And as a reminder, if you're going to use the Kindle Scribe option, you want to use the add front matter pages and back matter pages function of this tool so that the links will work instead of trying to add those in later. And that's everything you need to know to use our Kakurasu tool. And there you have it, an overview of the incredible capabilities of our new Kakurasu puzzle tool. If you have any questions about how to use this tool or suggestions for new features to add to this tool, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Your journey to crafting journals, planners, logbooks, and more starts here. Get going now with a free three-day trial at abookcreator.com.